Seeing in the dark, there's nothing more difficult for a camera. Or more spooky. Let's switch on the fancy night vision lens. Bah! Feels like we should be running around a graveyard chasing zombies. But I'm actually here to talk about technology. Google has invented a way to see in the dark better than your natural eye without the creepy green night vision effect using little more than a phone and some software. Let's switch off the night vision. Here's this scene shot with an iPhone XS. Pretty dark. And here's a shot using a new function called Night Sight on Google's Pixel 3 phone. Impressive, right? Okay, we found a little light. Night Sight is a giant step forward for smartphone photography. And it's a great reminder of how our photos are becoming, well, super fake. And that's mostly a good thing. With Night Sight, the Pixel creates images that not even a $4,000 DSLR could capture without a tripod and skills in Photoshop. How'd Google do it? Traditional night vision cameras like this one amplify the few available electrons using special and expensive sensors. They also turn all the light green so you can identify it. A traditional DSLR camera takes night shots with a big sensor and has to leave the shutter open for a long time to take in the light with less visual noise, which risks everything coming out blurry. Google's Night Sight uses just the tiny sensor built into its $800 Pixel 3, as well as some smarts from other parts of the phone. Its secret? It takes a whole bunch of photos at once and then stitches them together. Let's go to some graphics. Before you press the shutter button, Night Sight uses the phone's gyroscope to measure how much your hand is shaking. It's also evaluating the amount of motion in the scene you want to photograph. That helps it decide whether to take a few long exposure photos or a bunch of shorter ones that will reduce blur. Then the Pixel shoots a burst of photos with a total exposure time of up to six seconds. Next, Night Sight divides the photo into a bunch of small tiles, merging together the parts that align and look best. Last but not least, along comes artificial intelligence to identify what's in the photo and balance out lighting and colors. Night Sight has some limitations. Here's what happened when I tried to shoot inside a completely pitch dark storage unit. Yeah. Unlike night vision tech, it needs at least 0.3 lux present, about the amount of light you'd need to lose your keys on the floor. But in most situations, night sight is unreal. Here's what this shot looked like to my eye and to the raw mode on my phone's camera. And here's what night sight produced with extra saturated colors and even smoothed out skin. Is that even a photo or is it a digital painting? Photography purists might balk, but how is it any different from editing a photo in Photoshop? This just requires fewer skills. Now, more people can create images without technical knowledge. But we have to realize the camera itself isn't actually capturing reality. Or think of it this way. Which shot would you rather have? You could go too dark, too green, or just a little bit fake.